Hey guys, so today we're going to be breaking down this new free-to-play BoJack movie Super Saiyan Gohan. Um, this is still technically part of the movies campaign, so uh, this is not, I don't think, going to be a teaser for what's coming up in Legends Fest. You know what could be nice, actually? I was thinking about this the other day. What if this Gohan... Well, I wasn't thinking about this Gohan the other day, but this Gohan like, makes this more of a reality. Like, what if they just Zenkai Red BoJack? I feel like it's actually like a realistic possibility. We, we've already gotten Zenkai characters that are newer than him. He was a really dominant character on release. Like that would be a nice, that would be a nice Zenkai. He'd be an exceptional bench character. Uh, he was really fun to use. He has like one of the more unique transformations with the Awakened Arts card. Could be interesting. Anyway, let's take a look at this Gohan here. So he's a blue ranged type. Let's go ahead and click this. Um, once again, we got to subtract like 8,000. Uh, factoring in the arts boost plus the title boost so uh, wow his strike attack is literally zero <laughs> that that number might as well be zero like we're talking like <laughs> we're literally talking like two hundred and six thousand strike attack again it literally might as well be zero <laughs> blast looks like he's sitting at mid 250s which is not horrible for a free character um defensively he's looking pretty good though what is that 183 ish and then like 186 for defenses that's that's pretty good i'll take that uh he's holding double blast cards makes sense because he's a range type character hybrid saiyan sun family super saiyans and then of course movies uh normal strike he does have anti-blast armor on his blast cards that's interesting for a free character it's not typically too common that we see that his blue card is the super kamehameha deals major impact damage 20% to blast damage inflicted for 20 timer counts upon activation, uh, and then plus 20% to blast damage received for 20 counts on hits to enemy. That's pretty standard. Nothing too crazy there. Uh, the green card, we have um, obviously stop time here. Draws a blast card next, gets 40 key, 20% damage inflicted for 10 counts, and then card draw speed for 15 counts, and then minus 5 cost. That's, that's not bad. I mean, getting card draw speed and getting a guaranteed card draw off of this with the blast card, that's a pretty strong combo. It's not its not bad. Like, it, it obviously, it's not the greatest green card ever, but I'll take it. Okay, so main ability, a father's dying wish. Draw a blast arts card next. Okay, so he's a lot of ways to draw blast cards. He gets 20% HP and then 20 key back. Cancels own attribute downgrades in normal conditions. Nullifies enemies. Destroy card effects to sell for 20 counts. Destroys all of your enemies' cards. Okay, I mean, you know, nullifying card destruction effects can be pretty good. Um, I, other than that, this is not really a stellar main ability. Uh, we have 33% to movies, event exclusive, or Sun Family Blast Attack and Defense. So the first unique ability here. 80% uh, to damage inflicted, 65% reduced damage received, 50% to key recovery, and then minus 5 to blast arts cost. Minus 5, huh? Would have been a lot better if that was minus 10, just because that's typically what we see on blast characters. Minus 10. Eh, I'll take my, for a free character, I'll take minus 5, I guess. Falling effects occur when this character enters the battlefield. Change his own strike arts cards to blast cards. That's actually pretty good against Janemba. <laughs> Obviously, you don't want to have a full hand of strikes against Janemba a lot of the time. Uh, okay, so he gets 30 key, 60% damage. Okay, so he's up to 140 there. Uh, applies attribute upgrade 30% to enemy sustained damage cut effects. Yeah, that's, that's good. I, so we're starting to get to the point, by the way, in this game where sustained damage cut is so high on these characters that I think sustained damage cut is just straight up better than getting like more damage. Like I, I'm pretty sure this minus 30% enemy sustained damage cut effects, like it, in a lot of instances is probably just straight up better than 60% damage. Like I think, I think this in a lot of cases is going to result in probably just straight up more of a damage increase than this. Um, this, this, Minus to enemy sustained damage cut effects just continues to get more powerful as characters can, uh, you know, get more and more sustained damage cut. Uh, applies buff effect, nullifies enemies' special actions that activate when changing cover for three counts. Okay, so he gets three counts of cover null upon entry, which can be pretty good. Remember, he's changing his full hand to blast, so what you do is you just enter the battlefield of this character and then you just spam like three blasts. <laughs> and they all have cover null, which is pretty good. 
Um, inflicts enemy powerful opponent with attribute downgrade plus 20% to blast damage received for 15 counts. Um, that's a weird effect. Inflicts enemy powerful opponent. So what does that mean? That means that the current enemy that you're facing, if they are a powerful opponent, they take more blast damage. Or does that apply to all powerful opponent enemies that exist? So if the enemy has like a powerful opponent character on standby, do they get afflicted by this? I don't even, I don't know. It's, it's hard to tell based off of the wording. Following effects occur if there is a defeated battle member, draws a blast card and then gets 25% uh, damage inflicted by allies. Okay, so it's a permanent support buff there. Um, okay, so we have 20% to blast damage inflicted against tag powerful opponent. Reduce damage received from tag powerful opponent by 5%. Um, I mean, so, okay, so he's getting 70% reduced. I think the way this works is because this and this, like, people are going to look at this and they're going to be like, oh, you, do you don't actually add the 65 and the 5. I think in this case you do because they're both activating at the same time. I think the, the the times when they're multiplicative instead of additive is when you have like one of these effects that activates at a different point in time. So like, let's just say, for example, this character, like he starts the battle, this is a battle start here. He starts the battle with 65% reduced damage received. If he then had a separate effect that said like, when entering the battlefield, he gets like 10% reduced damage received. At that point, it would be calculated at a separate time. And I think it would, um, it would be multiplicative instead of additive. Like we see that with with our red UI Goku has that, um, where his reduced damage received buff on battle start is you know obviously set at what the number is, but then he gets a separate uh, he gets a separate amount of reduced damage received when he enters the battlefield, and so that shouldn't like you wouldn't just add that on to the battle start effect. It would be multiplicative, but in this case because they're both being applied at the same time. I think this means he just gets straight up 70% reduced damage received from powerful opponent, which is obviously good. Falling effects occur every time this character uses a blast card. 3% HP, 15% damage inflicted up to 60%, 10% damage inflicted for 10 counts. So he's stacking 25% blast damage, or just damage every time he uses a card here. Shortens out his sub count by one, activates four times. This is like, what? The, he's looking good, what the hell? Why didn't they make the free-to-play Demon King Piccolo like this? You know what team really needed a free-to-play character like this? is Dragon Ball. <laughs> okay. Falling effects occur when enemy switches to tag powerful opponent while this character is on the battlefield. Restores own key by 10, reduces enemy key by 20, and then minus one card draw speed. That's obviously going to be good on the defensive end. Reducing their key by 20 and lowering their card draw speed. Like, it's not going to be too impactful to the enemy if you do this while you're the one comboing, but if the if this uh, gets afflicted to the enemy while they're comboing, it's obviously going to be a lot more powerful. Applies the following effects itself when this enemy enters the battlefield, if enemy is tag powerful opponent. Okay, so it says if enemy is tag powerful opponent, so I'm assuming that just means that they're on the battlefield. Uh, restores key by 10, increases arts card draw speed by one level for five counts. Yeah, so I mean, that's the big sort of like gaping hole in this character's kit here. She doesn't have card draw speed, but... I don't even know if that matters because what you're going to want to do with this guy is you're just going to want to switch in with him and just spam like three blasts. <laughs> that's that's what this character's kit is going to want you to do. I think he looks pretty solid for a free character. I'll take this. Okay, uh, let's take a look at equipment. That's not the right place. Equipment. All right, let's see what we got. We are getting a new co-op and we are getting a new uh, ultra space time rush. So I think we should have at least a few equips to look at here. Um, we are getting, of course, a new PvP equip as well, which should be this, which is going to be Otherworld Warrior. Um, okay, so both defenses 10% in slot one, and then we can get up to 13% strike defense or blast defense when movies is a battle member. So that's pure strike defense and pure blast defense. And then 10% HP in slot three. Um, it's actually not as bad. Like, people are going to look at this and they're going to be like, oh my god, this sucks. It's actually not that bad. Getting 10% of both defenses and HP is already, like, okay. But then you're adding on 13% to pure defense. Like, that's actually not horrible. I could definitely see this being used in niche situations, which is honestly what 
that that's what these gold equips are for now if you're talking about like the best best possible equipment like you're very rarely going to be using like these normal gold equips you're mostly going to be using unique equipment or awaken equipment so like when we're talking about these just normal gold equipments like this from like pvp or whatever it's you know these these are more so for niche scenarios for characters that really just don't have many equipment options or like certain certain points in the meta where like you have an equipment that has like extra damage against movies or something like that right this is not that bad like goku and frieza can use this of course pycon could use this if you want to go for a more defensive build on pycon could be interesting uh what else do we got we should have a few more i think okay this should be the new co-op equip so this is going to be for sun family uh, looks like base, strike, defense, or blast defense. You got to choose one of them. Um, obviously, strike is going to be, I think, the priority here, just because the game is, the game has, and probably will always be more so strike based than blast based. Um, but I mean, it's good to have. The way I like to usually do this is like, so for example, for this equip, which also had a similar thing where you could roll blast or strike defense on one, I just grabbed two strike and one blast. I guess the way you, I guess that's the way to go. I mean, I guess you could technically do two and two if you wanted, but. Um, okay, so slot two and three are both dependent upon you having three Sun Family battle members. So a full Sun Family team. Uh, you get base, strike, and blast defense to 20%, and then you get 12% to pure strike and blast. Yeah, that's a good equip. This is powerful. The only thing that could have made this better is if they put HP in slot one. I actually think, um, I actually think this is a better equip this one but the restrictions are probably worse but they're, they're pretty similar i mean th this is a good equipment it's, yeah I, not really much more i could ask on on that one it's pretty good pretty good if you're running a full sun family there's no reason not to use that all right and then we should have the new awakened equipment whatever this is going to be it is the pycon one all right what is this Sagas from the movies plus green. I wonder who they intend you to use this on. All right, so we have strike defense, 18%. Blast attack, 18%. Strike defense, 18%. And then we have 10% to pure strike, attack, and defense when battle style melee or defense type is a battle member. Hmm. So... This is giving 36% to base strike defense and 10% to pure strike defense. And then 10% to pure strike attack and 18% to blot. Yeah, this is a very good equip. Like this is what I'm talking about when I'm saying that like the normal gold equipments are kind of just niche at this point. And like this is the level of equipment you, you want to run on your characters. Now it is pretty restrictive, green movies. I mean, orange Piccolo actually could, could really use this. Giving him a ton of extra base and pure strike defense like this is going to allow him to tank like Ultra Vegeta Blue a lot better. Um, obviously, PyCon wants to use this as well. So I actually do kind of like this. I'll probably end up farming two of these. This, this is a pretty good one. Okay, and I think that is going to cover this. So let me just quickly check something. So we are... It is November 8th today. Legends Fest has now been confirmed, which we knew this like three months ago now. Legends Fest has been confirmed to officially start on the 24th, which is a Friday, which is the same time they always do Legends Fest, so it's always going to be on Black Friday. It always has been. Um, so we technically have two more resets until Legends Fest. I think there's a good chance next week or the week after we could see an LF Zenkai leading into Legends Fest, very similar to what we saw last year when LF Super Saiyan 4 Goku got his Zenkai Awakening. Um, and that will sort of give us a hint towards what we're going to be seeing for part one, potentially. Um, we remember, we also are getting the battle system update releasing today. And then next week, I believe, is when we should be getting the update with the uh, like the like the God ranked equipment and the uh, Legends Limited Z abilities on it. So that will be pretty interesting to see how they handle that. But let me know down below what you guys think of this week's update. Nothing too crazy. Some good equipment. I actually really do like this Gohan free to play character. I think he looks pretty damn good. Hope you guys enjoyed this one, and I'll see you all in the next one.